Hi there. Today's lesson is on finding the circumference, and circumference is essentially the same as perimeter, except we are dealing with um, circles. So basically, it's the perimeter of a circle. Perimeter. So keep that in mind. Um, formula for using or for finding a circumference is pi times diameter or 2 times pi times the radius, depending on what you're given. Now, diameter as a definition, something you have to be able to recognize, is the distance across a circle through its center. It needs to make sure it goes through the center. Okay, and similarly, a radius is the distance from the center to any point on a circle. All right, and we will be using 3.14 or 22, points, uh, 22 over 7 for pi, uh, just depending on the situation. Um, but it, it will always indicate which one you should use and whether you need to round off to the nearest uh, decimal or to the nearest whole number. So let's look at our first example. So as to find the circumference of each circle. So this first one, we're given the radius. So our formula for finding circumference is 2 times, we'll use 3.14, times 4. Why I wrote 5 there, I do not know. 1, 4, times 4. All right. So we can multiply these two first. We get 6.28, then multiply that times 4. We get 32, carry the 2, carry the 3. 2 times 4 is 8, plus one. there's a 1 there. And then 25, don't forget we have one, two decimal places, so 1, 2. So the circumference for this is 25.12, and again, just like with perimeter of other shapes, we need to include that unit of measurement. Okay, uh, we'll do another example, and this one is find the circumference with the diameter of 63. So this one, a little more straightforward, our circumference is equal to um, pi times 63. So we're just going to multiply pi times uh, 63 over here. Get 12. Six times four is 24. Carry that two. There's an eight. And then move that plus sign. And then 18. Then we do our addition. 2, 8, 17, 9, and 1. And again, don't forget those decimal places. 1, 2, so 1, 2. So our circumference of this circle is 197.82 inches. Okay, uh, we're going to do a couple more examples, and this is finding the reverse. So this time, we're going to be given the circumference and have to find the diameter or the radius of each circle. So, this first one, we're given the circumference and it's asking us to find the diameter. So, we'll write out our formula. 25 is equal to 3.14 times x, because we're not sure what the diameter. So we want to isolate this x so what we have to do is divide this by 3.14, divide this by 3.14, and we will get our answer. So 3.14 outside, 25 inside. Remember when dividing with decimals, we have to move to the house. And since there aren't any decimals here, we have to add one and then move it two places, the same number as the outside. And that gets us um, there. Okay, so we have zero there, zero there, zero there. 
bring our decimal over here. Um, how many times does three, 314 go into 2,500? And I'm going to estimate, we'll say, 8 times. Alright, so we're going to multiply over here. 314 times 8 is 32. 1 there. Alright, so that's a little bit too much, so we'll go down to 7. Um, okay, so 314 times 7, and I know what you're thinking, a calculator would make this so much easier. Alright, so I did a little math here, and um, for purposes of the video, and for probably in, just in general, we won't go really past the hundredths place. So the answer for this, our diameter of this circle is going to be um, 7.96, and then here's our unit of measurement, feet. All right, so we're going to do the same thing for, for the next one. Our formula for this is going to be 30 is equal to 2 times pi times r. So in essence we're looking for r. So we're going to be dividing by 2 pi or 6.28. I'll write it over here because I know that 3.14 times 2 is 6.28. So this time we are going to divide it off uh, to the side to discover what the radius is. Alright, so after doing a little bit of math I have worked it out, and hopefully you have too, to where our radius for this circle is 4.77 yards is the unit of measurement. So 4.77 yards. Alright, we will definitely get more practice with this. Lots of work, uh, lots of division, multiplication, and decimals in this. Uh, so we have to get used to uh, practicing with this. Uh, make sure you have your notes to refer to, and I will see you then.